The overall goal of this procedure is to induce and accurately quantify the levels of secreted insulin from insulin-secreting cells. This method can help answer key questions in the diabetes field, such as the main mechanisms underlying glucose-stimulated insulin secretion in pancreatic beta cells. The main advantage of this technique is that it can accurately and rapidly quantify insulin secretion in response to glucose stimulation and detect potential drug effects on secretion. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy and drug discovery for treating type 2 diabetes because it will allow us to better understand the mechanisms of drug-induced metabolic dysfunction. So this method can provide insight into insulin secretion from immortalized beta cell lines. It can also be applied to other systems, such as intact pancreatic islets. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of multiple cell handling steps and drug preparations. We first had the idea for this method when we wanted to come up with a rapid assay to investigate the actions of dopaminergic drugs on insulin secretion. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the cell handling steps are difficult to learn because of the delicate nature of the cells and the importance of precision to ensure consistency of the assay between experiments. First, grow the INS1 E cells as outlined in the text protocol. Once the cells reach the desired confluency, aspirate the medium. Wash the cells with 5 milliliters of phosphate buffered saline. Next, add 0.5 milliliters of 0.025% trypsin to the cells. Then leave the cells in the incubator for 3 to 4 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Deactivate the trypsin by adding 9 milliliters of complete medium. Next, transfer the cells to a 15 milliliter centrifuge.